this with Dr. Lori, Dr. Lori Verderame. So glad to see you again. Nice to see you. <laughs> uh, we are at One of a Kind Consignment Gallery, and this is in Princeton, New Jersey. Lots of great stuff here. People go to consignment shops, they go to antique stores, flea they markets, go to flea markets, yard sales. Okay, and sometimes you just think you got to go with a big appetite for other people's stuff. Right. But, but you need tools. You need tools of the trade. And that's what we're going to talk about because certain things are really important when you're actually shopping. Right. So, okay, what's the most important thing when you're shopping? Money. Money, <laughs> right. Get the wallet and be ready to walk with your wallet. If you don't like something or you're not negotiating to your advantage, don't fall in love. You might have to walk with your wallet. Okay, that's one. Okay, real fast. Yeah. <laughs> Just generally in antique stores, etc. Is the sticker price the price, or can or should you negotiate? Most dealers, consignment shop owners, um, flea market sellers, resellers of any time like the conversation. Okay. okay, that means have a conversation. I don't know about this. What do you know about this? Exchange information. Talk a little bit about the price, too. Do you so, offer a price or you guys? Okay, now we're not going to talk about specific negotiation techniques. Those are at drlaurieV.com because we'll be here for three years. Okay, all right. But what I want you to understand is there are ways to do it. One of the things you have to do is don't fall in love initially and be ready to have cash if you really want to negotiate the best offer because cash is king. Okay, that's one of the things you want to think about. Also think about different environments. A consignment shop is different from an antique dealership, which is different from a flea market, which is different from your neighbor's yard sale. Other things that you want to think about before you go. In your purse, you know, just put these with you. Have enough cash so if you have to make a deal in cash, you can, right? So you can get the best deal. Also remember, you should have gloves to protect yourself and also to protect the items in those shops. You don't want to be Miss Klutz when you're in these shops. You want to be aware. So have respect for those items that you may look at but then decide not to buy. Okay, you've got, okay. You've got rubber gloves. Does this prevent you from oops, dropping something? This could. Yes, these okay. could be easier. These are actually nylon, these nylon gloves and sometimes they're lycra gloves. And then you also have these which are the white gloves. The white cotton gloves are really, if you're touching something, very, very old, very, very valuable. Okay. So, But be aware of gloves. You don't have to bring them, but it's a respectful thing. Also, your camera, I, your phone. I know everybody wears the, brings the phone everywhere and you're always snap, snap, snapping. Fine. You want to snap. You want to snap pictures overall. You want to see, gee, is that really the green that's going to match my sofa? You want to take a lot of photos. Okay. So utilize your camera. That's a good idea. The other thing that you have to have that a lot of people oftentimes will remember is in fact to have the oh, I don't have it here <laughs> a tape Where is measure. it? a tape measure Found thank one. you and Found then one. you want to think about magnifying glasses this is a jeweler's loop now I do this a lot so a 10 time magnification jeweler's loop you know I don't know how you are I have contact lenses I have bifocals I have readers and I have a jeweler's loop so as many things as you need to really see all of the details you want to look with a jeweler's loop or any kind of magnifying glass. Take your measurements with you, so have your measurements on a pad or on your phone before you leave so you know how big the wall is that you're going to put that old school, write it down, write it down, Victorian sofa on. But also remember this, and this is one of the things everybody forgets, you need a flashlight. And you need it because when you get down under these pieces, you need to see what's underneath. Okay, and the reason you need to see what's underneath is you might find that the piece is actually a piece that is hand painted underneath. You might see that the piece has been stripped underneath. You might see that there's a different type of wood underneath that shouldn't be under there, so it's been restored or repaired. You want a flashlight. You want to shed as much light on that piece as you can. Tools of the trade, very important. Measuring tape, cell phone with a camera. Don't forget your own measurements of your, of your wall, of your home, of your room gloves, some kind of magnifying glass, and cash is king. I'll Dr. Lori, value this. <laughs> and Carol's got the cash. And I got the cash right here. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Good to know. Especially, I think this. You, you get home and you, you bring in a table that's this big and you thought it was this big. And right. There. Right. That's, that's an expensive. That's so why we can't lose it even though we did. That's, that's right. It's expensive. <laughs> Don't let that happen to you. Make sure you don't leave home without it. All right, Dr. Lori, thank you so much, and we'll see you next time on Value This with Dr. Lori.